Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be working on a watercolor and colored pencil painting. Now in this video I'm, do I'm filming this voiceover after I film the rest of the video which is a new um, way of doing things for me but I wasn't sure if I wanted to line the painting with a black fine liner pen or ink or even just black paint, um, which is kind of what I usually do with my watercolors, at least most of them. But I decided to test out a new set of colored pencils that I had gotten, um, Prismacolor Premier pencils, and um, so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Not a lot of these clips are actually filmed with voice, so there will be a couple like long pauses and I'll try to speed them up for you. Um, if you're curious of what to as to what supplies I'm using, um, I'm mainly using my Holbein aluminum palette that I got from dickblick.com and I will link that down below. And my paints are Winsor Newton, Sennelier, and Daniel Smith um, that are all in this palette. So it's a combination of them and I um, am going to do a video on the colors and my favorite paints because I just got a bunch of new ones that I'm trying. but. Those are the main supplies, and the brushes that I am using are both um, Blick Studio brushes, Studio Synthetic, which are actually for acrylics, but I really like them for watercolor. They're nice, bouncy synthetic, and you can beat them up, and they're fairly inexpensive, so I have a synthetic round in a size 0 and a synthetic round in a size 10. So the 0 is my little detail brush, and the size 10 is what I use for the majority of this painting. So when I started doing watercolor um, several years ago, I started out drawing and painting rabbits, um, which I raise and show and everything, and that there's a whole um, sketchbook post on my Patreon if you want to hear some of that story, and I'm sure I'll be talking about them more. But um, So I started out doing animal portraits, basically, of watercolor, and that's kind of how I learned watercolor. I never got into landscapes until later on, um, when I fell in love with plein air painting. Um, which I mainly paint in oils now for plein air, so I haven't done a lot of watercolor landscapes since then. So um, this has been really fun getting back into kind of my roots and what I used to do all the time, and I do want to do more pet portraits. I really love it, and it's really fun, especially um, working on my skills drawing animals freehand. I don't trace, for at least for this one, um, I used to use graphite transfer paper and I'll do a video on that too because I find it I found it really helpful when I was learning um, but like this particular piece I did completely freehand I just had my photo reference here um, which I got this photo from Pixabay in case you're wondering I'll leave that link down below too because I really like their site and it's really fun and you can also support the photographers that um, post on this platform which is awesome I do like working from life over photos but when it comes to animals, obviously that doesn't always work. So this video is going to be a nice little refresher and it's probably not going to be the best painting ever. <laughs> but it'll be fun because it'll be practice and I want to do a series of pet portraits of my own reference photos and photos that I find that I like um, to start working on my portfolio for college uh, because that's something that I need to update work on because all of my previous portraits were done several, like four or five years ago. <laughs> So anyway, that is the background behind this. Now if you are one of my patrons, you will see this video ahead of time and also get a nice little bonus video that includes the supplies and all of the paints that I actually have here in my palette and what I've used and some of the techniques um, that I'll be using and kind of my review of my products and how I use them for this particular piece. So if you are not a patron already, you can have, head over to my Patreon at Sydney B. Turner Art. I would really appreciate it if you supported me there. I'm being I'm working on posting a lot of more exclusive content for my patrons because I really I'm a real believer in the Patreon platform and I love what they're doing for creators and I think that it's I think it's the way of the future. I think more and more creators are gonna build and that's going to be the way that um, artists make a living now. So it would mean a lot to me if you would support me and you will see a lot of extra content. I'm still working out what exactly I'll be posting so there will be some changes along the way but I think it will be an awesome platform.
so now that that has had a chance to dry a little bit, you can see this paper warped a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to turn my little fan off. I know. Go on. Leave that on. Probably going to need that. And then I'm going to add more darks because it's not dark enough. up because it was more brown and I want more black. There we go. Refill that. It's a nice big shadow cast. decided to put a background in and I'm gonna use this lovely um, blue purpley purpley blue mixture um, and I'm gonna make a lot of it and I know what this combination is so I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of that
Okay, so this has dried. So I'm going to move my palette and bring out my colored pencils.